Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and today I'm going to show you how to do some of these, the African set, the African animal set. So in the set, uh, I have a video for the zebra, so I won't do that here today, but I will link it so that you can see the zebra um, and how to utilize these. And these are what's coming. These are, see if you can see that, not really see that well, right here. So that's the tiger, which I love. We're going to do that today, and that'll fit on there. And then the shadows. I want to explain how the shadows are. So we have a zebra, um, a elephant face, a tiger, and a giraffe. And those are the ones that are on their way, as well as some farm animals, too. And I'll show you those in another video, but you can go to Sorcery Soap and see those. So one of the reasons I did the shadow behind there, so they come in two parts. So when you purchase this, it's two parts. And the reason I did this, there's a couple different reasons I did this. First of all, um, that way you can stencil on any bar of soap, no matter what the color of the bar of soap is, because you can put a background for this, and I'll show you exactly how that works. And then you put this over top, for example, you could put white here and then put black or put gray and put a different yellow. I've made them with yellow in the background and then black over top. And then they can, you could pick any color and put it on any bar of soap. <clears throat> so that's really helpful. And if you don't like it, so you get two parts, right? You could just do that one. You could just do this one. If you had a, you know, a plain bar of soap, you could just do this and it'll still come through on a on a plain bar, I mean on a busy bar of soap too. So, so that's, I want to show you how to do these. So we'll do a shadow first. This one's rather big. And the reason it's so big is because if it was smaller, some of these little pieces won't come out. And I've worked with it at a bunch of different sizes. And I decided a, a little bit bigger bar was better. Um, even if the edges don't quite meet because I'd rather lose the little edge here than take a chance of not having all the detail come out. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's put this on. This is the shadow part. So I'm going to be working in black and white soap dough just because I happen to have those loaded in my extruder and I use an extruder. So, and I also wanted to show you a couple different um, techniques that I do. So this one's going, and these have to dry a bit, not, ex, not extremely, but do you see, you can't put a stencil over top of soap dough that's this sort of moldable and wet, pliable. So I've seen some people using the Audrey stencils, which are really fun. And that was a very small run of those. Um, and I was really proud of them for using, being able to get all the details out. So, you know, stenciling, like with any art, there's a little bit of a trick to certain things and you become better and more skilled the more you do it. So this is just wet soap dough pliable soap dough that I put on a very cured bar of soap. Now the more the more you work this, you want to try and get it just about the first time because the more you work it, the more it's going to try and lift off. So I just put a pretty thick coat here and the whole object of this is to leave the interior of this. And the other reason I did these stencils is because, you know, I was painting on soap cookies, hand painting on things. And I realized that stencils could be even a better use, a better tool to be able to communicate that. Not everybody can hand paint or even wants to. So I dip my finger in water just to keep this a little bit pliable. And you can see, hopefully, how much water I put on there. <clears throat> and you want to hold this down and scrape off, put more pressure on the edge than you do in the center, because we want to leave the soap dough. And you know, the other thing too is these stencils could be thicker, but the problem with them with 
when they're thicker, and I've, I've experienced this, I've worked with them, I've made them in a variety of different thicknesses, and the problem with them when they get thicker is they don't bend, and I'm going to show you why they need to bend. Okay, now white on white is a little bit difficult to see, so... Okay, so now I want to make sure this is smooth to the touch. So I put my finger and dip it in water and then I rub it cross hatch wise. So I just pulled it this way and I did it this way so that I can smooth it down because I like it smooth. It doesn't have to be. And now I just give a little spray with alcohol. So when I bend it like this, you see how it starts to lift off from the edges? If they're too thick, they won't bend, and they need to bend in order to lift off. So there you go for that. And remember, you know, we're working with soap. None of this is permanent. I know people have said, well, how long does this last? And they take issue with that. And I, I'm not really sure how long people think their bars of soap should last. But um, it's not a forever thing. It's just soap. And we want to wear this down. So the goal is to scrub and to wear this off. So, you know, some people like to do the embeds that go all the way through, which is awesome. I'm not particularly skilled at that. And nor am I interested for some reason. It just doesn't interest me. And I think one of the reasons it doesn't interest me because I really like the detail that you can achieve with the stencil. That to me is really important. So I don't know if you can see, it's really shiny right now. That is also, I, I really enjoy that shininess and the, and the high detail of it. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we're going to move on to another one and then I'll come back or I'll circle back around when this dries and then show you how to put the, um, the elephant face on so that you can see how that works. So this right here, we're gonna do a giraffe. And this, like I said, the zebra, or maybe we could do the tiger. Tiger will work too. He's quite lovely. Um, I think I've done a giraffe. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do the giraffe. Now, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to point out, I can, I can do them all. I'll do them all. Let's see. Will he fit? And he fit better here. I'm running out of soap. Can you believe? I have to go. I have to. I have some cured downstairs, but they're not very big. I need bigger bars. These aren't even that big, actually. So let's see. Oh, I have a horse on the other side, so that's not going to work. Okay, let's do the giraffe. So the other thing I wanted to point out. So again, this one has a shadow that you can use behind it, and they can be flipped either way. And there's so many combinations of these. You know, like I said, you could use this for orange or yellow or, you know, and then put this. I'll put a picture up of the one I did with yellow on here. I think I did yellow anyway, so you could see the different contrast, but we'll do this one. So, so I like to be that person that says, you know, yes, I'm going to do this and then I do it. And then everybody's happy for the most part. Um, so it's just, it's my preference. And so I put up things, images of the things that I'm going to offer before they're available. And a lot of people don't read the post. I don't understand that. That's what a post is for is to read it. And they don't read the post. And I say, please sign up so that you're notified. It says, notify me. I went to a lot of trouble to change out my app so that you get an email and or a text. And so every text that I send costs me, by the way. And um, not, I'm happy to do it. it. It's just I went to this trouble and then I find out that people aren't reading the post. But because what happens is, you know, you just sign up and it says notify me. So the minute that I, I have to do the stock update before I send out the newsletter, it, it isn't that automated. And so I and then the minute that that goes, then you get a notification before the even newsletter, because a lot of people don't read the newsletters. And so you get a notification for that. And that helps everybody get what they want because these are little small runs. They're not, you know, sometimes there's only 25. And um, because I want to see before, you know, we carry everything, I want to see what everybody really likes, you know. 
Um, I have, I love every single stencil I have. I'll use it a million times over. I haven't even had an opportunity to go back around. I have hundreds of stencils. So, and, and I think that's like, um, that's one of the issues when I do a post and then people say, oh, they're out of stock. They're out of stock. I didn't get mine, but they didn't even read the post. And then that tells everybody else that they're out of stock instead of telling them to sign up, which is the actual truth of it. And, um, Anyway, I see a lot of that going on in the world right now. The chicken little alarmist kind of stuff. <clears throat> so, anyway, it doesn't matter what I think. So, here we go. I've done these. I know I've done these. I wonder, I wonder if they're... Huh. I have to look into my playlist because I know I've done these on camera before. But I'll show you again. Okay, so you can see how relatively smooth it is. It's a little thick right here. And that's the other nice thing about these is that they're, um, they're opaque a bit. So you can see what you're putting down. Um, I want to make sure this is smooth. See, I can see a little lump right there in his head. I haven't done this yet. I, I mean, I have a little bit, but I don't think I've done it on camera. I'm just spraying with alcohol. And then to let them dry and then go back and paint through the stencil. I think I did that. I've done so much. It's hard for me to remember everything. So I'm doing it really slow because if you just rip it off, then it then all the pieces don't always come off. And what I want is to make sure that the alcohol runs to the edge and the alcohol helps to loosen that soap dough from the edge. There you go. I just love his eyes. I'm very, very pleased. It took me a while to make sure that eye because I did it quite a few times and the eyes didn't always come off. So. So you can see like now why I thought maybe a shadow behind it would, would look mm, maybe not better on every time, but it'd give more options for sure. And I thought, well, that's not that difficult. I can make a shadow. And then there's like more choice and more options per, you know, per each one. So, and then uh, what I do is in order to preserve the very sharpness of each corner is just let it dry just a bit and then go back with a paintbrush. And if I look at it through the side, I can see the little edges that, um, well, I can see the edges. I need a paintbrush. We got such a storm last night. I don't know where you are, but wow, I thought it was awesome. I had to get up and shut windows. Yeah, see, those came off without hardly any. And I don't know if you can see. I just think they're so fabulous. And, you know, the, the other thing about stencils is that I really love is that it opens the door for lots of people to be able to try this because, you know, there's so much preparation um, that goes into <clears throat> making a soap and, you know, doing all the other techniques, then this is just a really simple, easy way to, to get something really fabulous, I think. I think they're wonderful. If I got a bar like that, I would be like, oh, that to me is just, it tickles me to death to see these. So let's do, let's do this tiger. So I'm gonna, I think I have another video with this. I wanna put that up. I need to get a different bar because he's not going to fit on here. Let's do this. <clears throat> 